uh, from a company called Collabnet. We are a product development company. So you have heard from the title, developers want change, ops want control. So you guys can guess, you know, it's mostly about DevOps. I want the session to be more interactive. I want folks to, you know, ask questions in the, in the middle and, you know, it's mostly knowledge sharing, your experiences, things like that. So how many of you, you know, have faced this challenge where, you know, you develop a code, it works in your environment, but it fails miserably in production. Okay. That's good. I see a few hands. Okay. And uh, some of the things I'm going to discuss is about uh, our experience, how we are able to solve few things in our DevOps environment internally as part of a product development company. And I'll also quickly run through a small case study that we are able to solve for our customers. So I'm not going to sell any product and stuff. There are some guidelines, things like that, best practices I'll share. It's up to you guys to go and implement how you want in your company or in your products. So first I'm going to discuss about, you know, what are the challenges operation teams have and what are the challenges, you know, developers have. And we talk about, you know, DevOps value proposition and what are the building blocks in uh, DevOps space, how you can build your own DevOps. So these are like general things and then best practices and how we solve some of the DevOps challenges within our environment in our product. We host our product in cloud, things like that. So you can look at that as a takeaway for you guys and then one of our customers case study. So let's start here. So to, as I started earlier, we always have a tug of war between developers and ops. So developers always want change and they are always in a fast paced environment. They want to develop more, they want to get to the market faster, learn technology and ops typically wants control. They don't want change in their environment because, you know, they are always tightly uh, network and they don't want to their uh, environment to die or, you know, fail, things like that. So dev wants agility, ops want stability. So the conflict between the two, they'll always fight the conflict between the two is what uh, DevOps is all about. So let's see some of the developers challenges. So on the left you see all the developers challenges and the right you see ops challenges. There's a wall in between. So typically everybody knows we are not going to talk about application lifecycle here, but you typically everybody knows if you follow practice uh, any life cycle you have like a plan, code, build, test, deploy and then you also have release automation. So developers now nowadays you know you